locker room and shower room accessible by multiple persons at the same time shall be designated for use by male persons only or female persons only. Grayson County joined the state of North Carolina Friday night in restricting students from choosing to use the bathroom of the gender they identify with. Pastor David Osborne was one of the dozens who attended the meeting supporting the move. We respect their choices, but at the same time, we have a choice. We should have a choice, too. State Senator Bill Carrico advised the board before it made the decision. Setting aside the fact that I'm a legislator, I'm a parent first, and my main concern and my main reason of moving forward was to protect my child. Protect his child from what Superintendent Kelly Wilmore says are legitimate safety concerns. How do you police this? Because if a boy's coming out of a, a restroom or a girl and uh, they expose himself, well, what do you do? Can you kick him out of the bathroom? Well, no, you can't. Uh, do, you, do you file charges on him uh, for indecent exposure? So we, we, we looked at a lot of different angles, and uh, it was, transgender was never the issue. It was more of the, uh, the safety. Now, with the ordinance passed, Osborne says some are concerned about the schools losing federal funding. President Obama is uh, blackmailing us with, you may say, is he's going to withdraw the funding if we don't do this. But we feel like we feel like we can get our funding for that somewhere else, if need be. That might be a tall order, however. Last year, the federal government gave Grayson County Schools more than $2.3 million, and the system still had a hard time paying its teachers. But Gary Lewis, who lives in North Carolina, says it's the right thing to do. To me, it's not a rational process. It's a political process. It's a, you know, a very, very small percentage of the population that is demanding that their perspective, their point of view, overrides the vast majority of the people. And uh, I, I'm proud of the governor and lieutenant governor of North Carolina to take a stand. So are most of the parents in the Grayson County school system who, on this issue, are seemingly united. We want to protect the innocence of our children, so we feel like they should respect our choices.